when you do a two foot jump, have you ever been told that your block foot isn't doing enough? Here's one reason your block foot might be losing you inches. For most people, as you go into a two foot jump, your center of mass always goes down first before going up. And that means the ground reaction forces your legs generate before you reach the minimum with center of mass is only to slow your descent. And it's only after you reach the minimum that all of the force you generate afterwards propels you upward into your jump. So there is a balance then between using the counter movement to use your stretch shortening cycle versus not having so much of a downward momentum to begin with that you end up using a lot of your forces just to push you out of the bottom. So here's where things come together. For all eight of my subjects for the jump study, we found that the minimum of the center of mass occurs when the first leg is in contact with the ground. So what that means is in order to slow the downward descent of your body, it is your plant leg that has to do all the work. And for all eight of my participants, their block foot or block leg contributes after the minimum position of the center of mass. Except for this one person, but still you see the majority of the block foot contact is still after the center of mass minimum. So given how a majority of block foot contact happens after the center of mass minimum, if it's not generating as much force when it's contacting the ground, you're directly hurting your vertical.